Hi guys, we're back in another video and today we're going to be doing a bill exchange slash sinking funds update for the month of April and today I'm going to be using my sinking funds update sheet by Pink X Budgets. I've been using her budget book since I started so that's what we're going to be getting into today. So um, we don't need our calculator right now. So starting with our bills binder. Sorry if you guys can hear that dog barking, but um, we don't track cell phone or subscriptions and we also don't bill exchange them because I need change for them um, when I'm like doing my sinking, but when I'm like unstuffing my bills. So first up, it's going to be um, rent and for rent, we started the month with $2,500 and of course, um, well, that's how we end it, March or whatever. And then, of course, when I moved in, I had to pay my rent. So, some money did come out. So, in rent now, we have 1500 600 700 800 900 950 970 990 2000 to 10 and 215 No. 2020. What? So, we have $2,020 in rent. So, 2500 minus 2020 means that we saw a decrease of $480. I don't know why my camera moves on its own, but it's definitely moving, but I don't want it to move. Sorry, guys. Okay, so we saw a decrease of $4,080. So we are going to be putting a $1,000 placeholder in here. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 950, 970, 990, and 1000 So this is a $500 placeholder that we're going to just take out and put to the side because we're not going to need and then this should and then this is five hundred dollars so with the placeholder and the cash that means that that's a thousand and then this is 20 so i'm gonna put this down and grab a 20. so we have two thousand and twenty so that should be enough money to bill exchange everything else condense everything else so next is lights. Lights started the month with $450. And we're ending the month with 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, and 490. End of the month with 490. So that means it increased by $40. And there's nothing to bill exchange here. So that's good. Wi-Fi started the month with 250 and we're ending the month with 100, 200, 220, 240, and 250. So that means we saw no change in Wi-Fi, which is correct because I haven't added any, anything and I also haven't paid my first Wi-Fi bill yet. So that's great. And I'm not going to bill exchange that because my Wi-Fi bill is... $35 so I'm gonna need that 10 and those 20 so um credit card we're not tracking because at the end of every month I'm gonna just um take the money out and deposit to pay my credit card so we're not worried about that um next is household so household um here as y'all see I combined it with the ending totals from kitchen and toiletries because that's essentially what this envelope is i combined the two um kitchen and toiletries envelopes to make just one big household envelope so it started the month with 450 dollars and we're ending the month with 30 dollars so that means we saw a decrease of 420 dollars a lot of these is probably going to have a lot of decreases because um when I moved in, of course, I was using, I had to buy toiletries, um, I had to pay rent, like, so a lot of these have decreased. 
And then last in this binder is Home Decor, which was my old furniture envelope. We started the month with $1,300 and we're ending the month with 50. <laughs> so that means we saw a decrease of $1,250 which is correct because I had, I mean, of course I was adding money to this as well, but um, I did buy my bed, bought my mattress, I bought everything for my room. Like my room is, is completely furnished. My room is completely furnished. The only thing I need is like just um, wall decor, but my room is completely furnished. So that's pretty much where all this money went towards. So that's it for this binder. Moving into our high priority sinking funds. First up is emergency. So emergency started the month with $500 and we're ending the month with $500, $550, and oh, $600. We're ending the month with $600. So that means we saw an increase of $100. So we're going to put these two fifties back for $100. So that's $600. Next is travel. Travel started the month with $15 and we're ending the month with 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, and $70. So I'm not sure what that math is. 70 minus 15 means that we saw an increase of $55. So 55, so I'm gonna keep this five in exchange all of this for 50. No, I did that wrong. <laughs> We're gonna keep this 20 and exchange all of this for a 50. And we should definitely be seeing this envelope increase a lot over the next couple of months because I am saving, I am saving to go to Vegas in September, so. That's it for travel. Hair school started the month with $140 and we're ending the month with 100, 120, 140, 160, and 170. So that means we saw an increase of $30. So we're gonna keep this 100 and this 20 and we're gonna put this down for a 50. And I believe that is my last 50, so, oh no, I have one more 50 after that. So 170. Next is month ahead. We started the month with $100 and we're ending the month with 100, 110, 120, and 125. So that means we saw an increase of $25. So we're gonna keep this 20, 100, and I'm gonna put this down and get um, a 20 and a better five. So all these fives are pretty crusty, but that one is a little better. And then we're just gonna grab a 20. So. 125. All these bills are kind of cr mostly crusty. So, and then last in this binder is miscellaneous. Miscellaneous started the month with 450, and we're ending the month with a oh, five. Let's see if I can see a better five. No. So this envelope did go down because in miscellaneous I was saving up to pay for my deposit. Um. So. I mean, I had to pay my deposit when I moved in. So that's why this envelope went down. So that means we saw a decrease of $445. So that is it for this binder. Oh. Moving into our low priority sinking funds. Beauty started the month with zero and we're ending the month with zero. As always, 
So that's not a, uh, uh, we didn't see a change at all. Clothing started the month with zero and we're ending the month with 20. So that means we saw a change of $20. And then the rest of these envelopes, I believe, are zero. So car started the month with $125. And we're ending the month with zero. So we saw a decrease of $125. And then family was a bill, but I turned it into a sinking funds now because I no longer live with my family. So I don't need to pay them money every month, but I do want to give them a little money. And it, I haven't put anything in it, so this is not really going to count. So that is it for this binder. We really didn't even need to put it out, pull it out, but I just wanted you guys to see for yourself. Next is our saving challenges. And the only saving challenge we were um, tracking was my 12-month saving challenge um, and my Save Oblie challenge. So for my 12-month challenge... We started the month with $205 and we're ending the month with $100, and $240. So that means we saw an increase of $35. So we're going to keep all this and put this down for a 20. There go a batter five right there. Let's um, get a decent five. That's pretty decent. Okay, so 240. And then for my Save Opoly challenge, I still have it back. Um, let's see. Where is that? I still have it back here, but I was always skipping it or not putting money in it. So I decided to deplete all the money that was in it. And I'm actually going to be cash stuffing the money that was in my Save Opoly challenge. I'm actually going to be cash stuffing it into my um what do you call that in, into my different saving challenges in my video on friday i mean on saturday so my next week video of my saving challenges that i do every other saturday um the money that i'm going to be stuffing actually came from this save upoly challenge because i decided to just deplete it because like i said i wasn't really putting any money into it and i kind of want to shift my focus um, to other saving challenges so um because of that i'm just gonna say that safe opoly challenge now has zero so that means we saw a decrease of 85 dollars that's what i'm just gonna say because technically it is depleted and this is my new binder that i got for my saving challenges um I used to have my saving challenges is my in my low priority sinking fund to binder, but I I got this. Um, I ordered the mystery box from Baddies and Budgets, and this was in there, so I decided to use this for all my different saving challenges and themes. So it's super super cute. So I am gonna be coming out with a video of unboxing my Baddies and Budgets mystery box a uh, mystery box along with other things that i ordered from like etsy and stuff like that so if you guys want to see that make sure you guys stay tuned just a little you know but so now we're pretty much done and this is how our sinking funds update is looking we do have a lot of negative but that was pretty much a given for me i already knew because moving in i had to pay for a lot of expenses so you guys can't really see but we started the month with 600 six thousand five hundred and seventy dollars so now i'm going to be in the, adding up all of these ending amounts right here to see what we're ending the month with this month so i'm going to do that really quickly It looks like we're ending the month with $4,070. So, like I said, we started the month with $6,570 $6, and we're ending the month with $4,070. So, we're going to do $6,570 minus $4,070 and that means we've seen a decrease of 
$2,500. So we did lose money this month, but like I said, that was pretty much a given. When I first moved in, I had to pay um i had to pay about 1100 um i had to pay about 1100 um for my move in so that was my prorated rent along with my deposit and then like i said i bought all the furniture for my room my room was fully furnished as soon as i moved in so that was about 1300 dollars um and then where else did i put money for oh and then i had to buy kitchen supplies um for the kitchen i had to buy toiletries for the house and for my room so of course it was definitely going to be a significant decrease because that is a lot of money it probably would have been an even bigger increase but i haven't been adding money this month so that's why it's not as big as what it would have been but yeah that's all we have for today guys um hopefully by next month we should be able to get this um get this back up of course it's not going to be back up to six thousand in just a month well it really just depends on um you know how my job situation been working out as i've been telling you guys but um yeah we're gonna count this money and make sure this is five hundred dollars so we have 100 200 300 350 370 390 390 <laughs> 400, 410, 420, 430, 440, 450, 460, 470, 480, 490, and $500. So that's how we're taking back to the bank today, guys. It's $500. So let me just show you guys, get my little thumbnail. Let's see. My thumbnail is so ugly because of my nails, but that's all we're taking back to the bank um it's not always a lot but anything is a win any um any progress is a win any time we can get money out, out the house is a win so that's all we have for today guys make sure you guys stay tuned for my video coming this saturday for my saving challenges we're gonna be stuffing a decent amount um so i'm super excited about that so yeah, that's all we have for today, guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I appreciate all of the love and all of the motivation for um, that you guys have been giving me uh, considering everything that I've been going through with my job and stuff. So, that's all. Bye, guys.